Hi, Croiso, welcome everybody. I'll just give it a few seconds for those who want to join to do so. Okay. Right. Hi, everybody. So as you can see on the screen, then my name is Miriam Riddle and I am the head of Decide Sixth. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little video. Then I'm going to talk you through a little bit about what A-levels are, what you can expect from us, what we're hoping to be able to do with enrolment and then the start of September. And then at the end, we'll have a question and answer session. So thanks to all of you who've emailed in questions already. You can do that using the live chat thing during my kind of talk. Um, and if there's anything else that you forget to ask or want to do so and um, you can always email admissions at cambria.ac.uk at any point and somebody will be on hand to help you okay we're going to play the video for you now decide six is about more than just outstanding grades not just leaders but opportunity makers not just for the arty types but for the ones that strive to explore their potential more than just what's on the outside, but bursting on the inside with technology. The future is today. Groundbreaking in their field. Prepare yourself for a new teaching experience. Progress beyond your gifts and talents. And aim for everything you can be. We will inspire you to succeed, create, develop, and embrace every challenge that you may face. You are not just an individual. We are one. We are Decide Six. Oh, it's lovely to see the video of Decide Sixth again. We've missed it so much. I can't wait to be back there. Um, OK, so as you've seen there, that's a little bit about what Decide Sixth looks like on the inside. And if you were able to come to some of our open evenings or talk and tour events last year, then hopefully lots of you have been around the building and seen how fantastic it is. Um, so why would you choose Decide Sixth? Well, if you're thinking of studying A-levels, Decide Sixth, along with um, our Yale Centre in Wrexham, are pure A-level centres. That's all we do there. Um, College Canberra itself has six different college sites across North East Wales and they all specialise in slightly different things. So if you've chosen to come to Decide Sixth, it's hopefully because you're planning on studying A-levels. Um, we are one of the highest performing A-level providers in Wales and we are the highest uh, performing provider in our particular region and we're in the top 10% when it comes to what we call an out score which is a way of measuring how much progress students make so you're in very good hands when you join us at Decide Sick. Um, so a little bit then about what A-levels are. Um, A-levels themselves are divided up into two years and those two years will fly by trust me. Um, the first year is called your AS year and the second is called your A2 year and at the moment um, AS makes up 40% of your grade and A2, 60% in a normal year. Obviously, the COVID year has been a bit different, but in a normal year, that's how it's split up. And we're hoping that obviously for you guys, that will be the norm. Um, they're graded in the same way as your GCSE. So from A star down to a U grade, which is ungraded, and C is counted as a pass. Um, you usually choose about three different subjects. I've had lots of questions about that as well coming in. Three is the norm, three different A-level subjects. The reason being that when it comes to applying to university or employment or a degree apprenticeship or higher apprenticeship, they're looking for three A-level subjects. They are the grades and the offers that you will receive. So three is pretty standard. As well as that, at Decide Sixth, you will do your skills challenge. And I'll talk more about that later on. That becomes your fourth. Um, they're very challenging. They're called advanced levels. That's what the A stands for. And the, they're not joking. They are very difficult. You will notice immediately when you start that there is a big difference between the work that you've done at GCSE compared to your AS. Now, all our teachers are on hand to really support you with that transition. And particularly this year for you guys, because your GCSE course is finished earlier than they would have, our teachers are looking at how to kind of bridge that gap in the skills that you might have lost from GCSE. So you'll have lots of support put in place when you join us. So as I mentioned, then you have five hours per week for each of your subjects. Um, 
and you will do three of them. That means then that you will have some free periods or what we call study periods built into your timetable. When it comes to A-levels, you get out what you put in. So the more work you put into them, the more successful you will be. So we would encourage you that during those study periods, you use lots of our agile working hubs and our library, our LRC, um, to get a Chromebook, to get on with some work and to make the most of your time with us. As well as that, you'll have regular testing in all of your subject areas to enable you really to track and monitor your progress and make sure that you're going in the right way. We have regular, what we call assessment points, and also two mock exams a year. Um, so we allow you to really track your progress. We also have an online system as part of our student intranet called EBS on Track. And that allows you to monitor your attendance, to put in targets that you will do through a one-to-one -one, um, period with your teacher every half term, and to make sure that your grades that you're getting from your assessment points are going in the right direction. And you can log on to your EBS track 24 hours a day, have a look at your progress and share it with a parent or guardian if you wish as well. Now, what can you expect from us? Well, as you've seen from the video, Decide Sick is a fantastic A-level centre. It is purpose-built for A-levels. And all of our kind of subjects area, they have kind of highly specialised equipment in there. So, for example, our science labs are built on industry, modelled in the way that science labs are in the real world, to really give you a taste of what it's like to be a real scientist. Every single classroom that we have at Decide Sick has an interactive whiteboard. We use Chromebooks and the G Suite, so Google Calendar, Google Meet, all that kind of thing, and um, to enable you to work. So we are paper free, paperless if you like, and that means that we do everything using digital platforms, which is a great skill for you to have if you're going on into employment or university, because they're the skills that you will need when you get there. Um, I think as well, one thing to note about Decide Sick is how specialised the teachers are and how fantastic they are. And they're all A-level specialists. A-levels are all that they teach. And a lot of them as well are examiners for WJC. So you are in very good hands when you come to us. Um, there's free Wi-Fi. The surroundings are very inspiring and they really help you to learn and focus and give you that different environment perhaps than, than a school might. And we've got excellent levels of support with us being a big college. So you've obviously got support from your uh, subject teachers. You'll also have your skills teacher every week to help you. You'll have dedicated time with a progress coach whose job it is to monitor your progress, check, uh, check your attendance, and to help you in case you need to be referred to student services for things like counselling or financial support. Or it could be that you want different career advice and we have a dedicated job shop on site at Deside so we can really help you to think about where you're going to progress onto after you leave us. Um, what do we expect from you then? Um, we expect you to work hard. A-levels are difficult, they are challenging. And like I said before, you get out what you put in. So working hard is key. Um, when you join us as part of your induction in September, we will run through with you um, what you need to do in terms of study skills for A-level, because it will be different to GCSE and you have to take things very much up a notch. You have to be more of an independent learner. You've got to be able to use our digital platforms to learn as well. So there are lots of things that we will help you to do at the start of term, but working hard is key. Another thing that's key is attendance. Attendance is essential when it comes to attainment or doing well at A-levels. You need to be in your lessons in order to learn. You need to be going to those tutorials when teachers set them, going to the revision sessions and seminars that every subject put on for you to make sure you get the most out of your two years with us. You also need to regularly track your attendance. Now, we mentioned before about the use of EBS track. You can look at your scores. You can look at your test data at any time and look at where you're going. So you've got to keep track of your targets and make sure that you're actually working towards them and we encourage you to do that regularly and we want you to be in a, you know aspirational we want you to be thinking about where you go to next not that we're trying to get rid of you it's just that the, your a levels are a stepping board a springboard if you like to your next part of your career so we want you to be constantly thinking about where you go and we are superb at giving you the advice and guidance for when you leave us on your different progress pathways. Be a positive role model. We really love it when students come to us and enjoy their time with us and stay in touch with us and go off into the community and say what a good experience they've had at Deeside Sixth and College Cambria. Okay, next bit then, what's a typical day like for an A-level student? Well, as I said at the start, you would have three different A-level subjects on your timetable. So that's five hours of each. That goes over four lessons. And I'll explain a little bit about the timetable in a moment. And you'll have two hours of skills 
and one hour with your progress coach a week. Um, that means then that in terms of the lessons, we would encourage you to come in nine till four every day and use your study periods when you're not in a lesson to get on with your homework or stuff that you need to do outside of the lessons. Um, but you can also leave the site, so you don't have to be on in college um, if you don't have a lesson at that time. If you're going to be absent from college at any time, you can log your attendance on the EBS track, which is a great tool. Um, our lessons then are broken up throughout the day. So the first lesson we have starts at nine o'clock and that goes till half past 10, so an hour and a half. 15 minute break and then another hour and a half lesson before we break for lunch at quarter past 12. Lunchtime then runs till one o'clock. Then in the afternoon, the first lesson is an hour long, one till two. And then the last lesson is from two till four. So the difference, I suppose, between A-level lessons in a college compared to perhaps what you're used to at school is that the lessons tend to be longer, but you have fewer of them. So that two hour period in the afternoon is really useful. You get so much work done in terms of A-level content and you're able to then translate that into doing some exam practice or lab work or practical work. So it really helps to embed your learning. Um, if your lesson's finished, at one o'clock on a particular day or whatever time it was you're free to leave as I said or use the kind of agile working hubs on site to get on with your work. Skills challenge. Skills challenge or the Welsh Baccalaureate is something that is compulsory at Deeside 6 and the reason why it's compulsory is that it sets you up with all the skills that are necessary for going to the university or going into employment or a degree. Um, what you need to be able to do as an A-level student is not just have the academic background, but also have skills like digital literacy, group working, independent research, community work, and looking at global issues as well. And that's what Welsh Baccalaureate is fabulous for. And um, there are going to be some changes next year, we think, um, because of COVID in terms of how much content you have to do for the Welsh Bac. Um, and we'll obviously notify you about that later on when we know. Um, but at the moment, it counts as a full A-level. So rather than do four subjects, at AS and then drop down to just three in your second year, which is what some schools and colleges do. You do Welsh Baccalaureate with us for the full two years, which means you get a full A-level out of it. So a C at Welsh Bac or an A at Welsh Bac is worth exactly the same as a C or A in another A-level subject. So it gives you more. Um, and as I mentioned, the skills are fantastic that you get from it. And that's two hours a week on your timetable. Another thing I wanted to mention as well is the help and support that we have in place to get you to your destinations. If you're a high achiever and you're looking at Oxford or Cambridge or medicine or veterinary or dentistry, then we are part of the Seren project. Um, and we also have very specialised help in college to help you with mock interviews, work experience and that kind of preparation work that you need for those type of courses. And we also have as well um, the progress coaches that I mentioned before. Now, they're on hand to help you once a week with your career planning and your progression, which I think is a fantastic thing to have on your timetable because it gives a reason and a meaning to what you're doing in your A-level work. It's how am I going to learn from this? What do I need to do um, for a certain kind of career that I want to get into? Or they can be on hand to give you UCAS, that's the University Admission Service, and um, help and assistance. And like I said before, having the job shop on site is fantastic as well. We've got lots of links with very well established universities and we bring lots of them into college to help you with your personal statements if you're applying to university and we also have a fantastic apprenticeship scheme so if you're looking to go into a higher apprenticeship after your a-levels or a degree apprenticeship we have specialized help in college where we feed into you all the different opportunities we have on offer we bring in students who've left us to go and do these apprenticeships back in to do workshops with you and it is fantastic you can really network and get your foot in the door with some really good companies. Um, okay, a little bit then now about what's going to happen on results day. Now, everything I'm about to say when it comes to late August and September is subject to change because of COVID this year. We are hoping, fingers crossed, that when you get your GCSE results on the 20th of August, all you will need to do, as per the norm, is secure your place online. So you'll have an email that day from College Cambria with a link. If you've got the grades that you needed for your courses, all you simply need to do is confirm your place online. So there's no reason for you to come in and talk to us. However, if you've not quite got the grades that you were hoping for, or if you want to change your course in any way or talk to somebody about it, then you are welcome to come in. There will be more information on our website nearer the time as to whether we'll have a booking system. It's just making sure that it's safe and that we follow all the guidelines that we will be given by the government to enable you to come in and talk to us. But keep an eye on the website for further details. First day of term then. 
On Tuesday, the 1st of September, we're hoping to be able to bring you all in for your new student induction. You'll have an email and a letter before that date to get you up to speed with your timetable and on it will be your skills group. That will be the group that you'll be with all day on Tuesday the 1st for your induction. You'll be in a particular room with a particular teacher all day. They will give you a tour around the different sites. There is also our post-COVID mental health recovery programme that we're starting that day. So mindfulness and well-being will be one of the sessions that you will do along with study skills, getting connected. So bring a laptop with you if you've got one. If not, we'll have Chromebooks for you all when you arrive. Um, and also on that day, bring your GCSE certificates with you. We need to scan them and keep a record of all of your grades to make sure that you're on the right courses and to enable us to work out your target grades as well for A-level. So bring your GCSE certificates with you. Don't lose them. Um, that day then starts at nine o'clock and we're hoping to be finished around three. If you don't require a bus, then you're able to leave at three. If you are needing one of our college buses, then you have to wait till four o'clock and we have designated waiting areas for that. Now, the following day, the Wednesday, which would be the 2nd of September, there are no A-level lessons. It's an advice and guidance day. So subject to change at the moment, what we're hoping to be able to do is just ask you to come in if you need to make a change or if there's any issues that have come up on your first day that we need to sort out. If there's a finance implication, if something wrong with your buses, if, the, if it's something we can't do remotely via email, then you can book to come and see us on that day. And then the following day, Thursday, is when all A-level lessons will start, both for AS and A2 students. Although, as I said at the start, keep an eye on the website um, so that you know if there are any changes to that, we'll keep you posted on there. Um, one thing to mention, as well is our social media platforms if you're watching this now then you already know about them but if not and um, tell your friends make sure you're all following us Colic Cambria on social media so that you can keep up to date with any changes in terms of results day and uh, September and anything else going forward really so that's it from me wittering on um, to you about A levels if you've got any questions about that then you can start posting them now. Um, I've got a few here already that were emailed prior to today. So I shall go through some of those now. So thank you very much for sending them in. Um, the first one was from OI, who's obviously been doing a lot of ASOS shopping um, during the summer holidays. And his question is, is there a dress code for Deeside Sixth? Um, no, there isn't. Um, it's not a school. There is no uniform. You can wear whatever you want. We just ask that it's appropriate for an educational establishment. So remember that Deeside Sixth, although it looks fantastic, it's not a nightclub so please don't come in dressed like you're going out make sure it's appropriate for the staff and students alike so oh and you can order what you want on ASOS um, the next question is from Ellen she says and what do you have to do in Welsh Baccalaureate okay well Ellen I hope that I kind of answered your question there um Welsh Baccalaureate the skills challenge that we call um it's a fantastic thing for A-level students. I was very skeptical at first when I started and thought, mm, I don't know whether this is gonna work, but I'm completely converted to how fantastic the skills challenge is. Um, even our students who've had Oxford and Cambridge interviews this year have come out of those interviews saying, all I spoke about was my individual project. And the reason being that as part of it, you have to do this um, research project on your career or some, some kind of element of the degree or employment that you want to go into. And it means that then when you're in front of an employer or for these students in front of their Oxford and Cambridge admissions um, professors, they were able to talk about their subject area in detail, show that they've done independent research on it. And lots of the answers to the questions they were asked were from their Welsh Baccalaureate. It's about skills. And as a, a human being going into this world, you need to have skills as well as the academic qualifications as well. Um, thank you, there's a question just come up there. Is there anything I can do to get started or prepare for my A-levels? Yes, you can. Um, on our website, um, you can find our A-level preparation resources. If you're having trouble finding them, a few people have emailed me saying they can't find them. If you get in touch with admissions, at cambria.ac.uk, they can send you all the links. So for all of the different A-levels that you are going to be studying, there are A-level preparation work on our website. And um, there's stuff that you can read, there's books that you can order, there's tasks that you can do as well. So if it's been a long time since you've done any schoolwork, it might be a good idea to start doing some of those things now just to help prepare you for September so it's not a complete shock. I remember when I was at, when you're in primary school and you have the summer holidays off and you come back and you go, I can't write. It's a little bit like that, but it's gonna be even worse, isn't it this year? Um, okay, thanks Poppy for your question there. What is the exam board? It's WJC, you are right. 
all schools and colleges in Wales have to follow WJEC. So regardless of where you choose to do your A-levels, whether it's a school or a college, we will all follow WJC. The difference will obviously be the student experience that you get from one place that will differ from another. Obviously at Deeside Sixth, you get a fantastic student experience, the building, the resources, the staff, everything I've already mentioned. Um, right, thank you for the next question. Um, can you bring your own Chromebook? Yeah, of course, of course you can. Um, You'll get all of the Wi-Fi connection um, information when you join us on New Student Day on the 1st of September. So if you don't have a Chromebook, we will give you a Chromebook to use for your time with us. But by all means, if you've got your own laptop, iPad, Chromebook, bring it in and you'll be able to hook up to the Wi-Fi really, really easily. Thank you. OK, another question here. This was from Phoebe. Um, she was asking about what help we get with um, university applications. Obviously, um, university is what a majority of our students tend to go on to do, but not all of them. Degree apprenticeships are becoming more and more common. For both of them and employment, it doesn't matter. Um, we are on hand to support you from the day that you start um, with us. And as I mentioned before in my talks, I probably have answered your question, Phoebe, a little bit. Um, but your progress coach that you'll see every week will be on hand to support your career choices, to make sure you're doing the right research, to help you with your UCAS um, applications. Join our apprenticeship classroom, um, which is the remote um, on, uh, online learning classroom that two of our teachers manage. They post almost daily lots of different apprenticeship opportunities. They bring in employers to do workshops with you, to help you to network with them. So there's loads on offer um, in terms of where you go after you leave us. And I think it's great as well that you have that one hour a week with that progress coach. So you are focused on your career. There's a there's a point to doing your A-levels and we help you refocus on that weekly. Um, another question did pop up but it's gone now oh there it is and um, hi Luca if we have our induction day on Tuesday the first and A-level start on the Thursday what happens on the Wednesday okay and um, the reason why we keep the Wednesday clear is that when we've got you know over 300 new students starting with us and we don't ask our A2 our second year students to join you on the first and um, there's going to be some teething issues in terms of timetable things that need sorting out groups that need to be changed things that aren't right so rather than start the lessons the next day we like students to come in and then have a day to think about whether they've made the right choices and to get the help they need so that we can really hit the ground running and um, with your lesson content on the Thursday so only come in on the Wednesday if you need help with something um hi Poppy right what if someone wants to change their options dead easy um as long as you've got the right GCSE grades to do the course that you want to change to it's not a problem at all um, you can come in and let us know on results day so that's the 20th and also hopefully the day after the Friday the 21st D side 6th should be open from 10 till six on results day and then 10 till three on the Friday. But again, check the website to make sure you're able to come in. It may be that it's remotely done like this. Um, but also when you come in on the 1st of September, there'll be time at the end of that induction day to talk to myself or the deputy about changing courses. And again, that second day, um, the Wednesday, is when you can make those changes. So you've got lots of opportunities. We also have a swap and drop period of about three weeks so that by the time you get to the end of September, if you have tried history, but you want to swap to politics, or you've tried psychology, you want to swap to sociology, you can do that within those three-week period. OK. Um, hi, Judy. Right question there. Can you get in touch with the council before school starts? Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, a mental health recovery programme for, for COVID and for people in general is something that we're really big on here at Cambria. We have a dedicated student services team. So if you would like to get in touch with a counsellor um, and start planning for some sessions when you start with us, then email student.services at cambria.ac.uk or you can do admissions at cambria.ac.uk and they can help you there. Check our website for those details as well. Um, and student services are there all summer to help you if there's anything OK at all. Um, next question then. Hi, Mel. Um, does an iPad class as a computer or something you can bring in for work? Yeah, I'm not sure um, how iPads use because um, we use Google Chrome for everything, how good they are with that. But if you bring your iPad in, we've got IT support um, in-house so they can help you kind of get connected. Lots of students use them, um, but for the technicalities, I would bring it in, see if it works, and then if it doesn't, borrow one of our Chromebooks. That would be my advice. Hi, Kaylee. Um, will we bring any preparation work 
we'll be bringing in a post short too. As in the stuff that you download from the website, if you bring any of that work to your lessons, um, it will help then for you to have a little chat with the teachers when you start your lesson. So if there's something in that preparatory work that you're unsure of um, and that you want checking, bring it in in September and they will look through it for you. Um, okay, Kaylee, when do you get your timetables? Yeah, so you should get your timetables the week in between your GCSE results day in the 1st of September, so that very last week of August. Um, timetables are obviously sorted out when you've confirmed your place online. So you can do that on the 20th when you get your results, 20th of August. As soon as you've done that, within the next week or so, you'll get your timetables. But before the 1st, you should have it. If you don't, if something's gone wrong, email admissions at cambria.ac.uk and they will sort it out for you. And even if something goes wrong and you don't get an email or you forget, just turn up on the first and we'll be able to sort you out. So don't panic about that. Okay, next question. If we have a Chrome, if we get given a Chrome, but would we have that same one all year throughout sixth form? Right. So ordinarily, um, you would just have a Chromebook for that day and borrow it from a classroom or from the library, then give it back. Because of COVID and with new regulations in terms of sharing resources, we're looking into the moment and um, having a larger amount of Chromebooks on offer so that everybody can have one for the time that they're with us if they need one. And again, we'll be sorting that out on induction day. So if you've got your own laptop or Chromebook, bring it in. That's ideal. But if you need one, we can give you one for all of your time with us. OK, um, Luca, where you can find the bus timetables. OK, what you'll need to do for bus information is have a look at the student services section of our website. And if there isn't your kind of answer to your question on that part of the website, just email student services and they'll be able to tell you. I do know, though, that you get once you've confirmed your place at the end of August, you normally get sent all of your bus information afterwards. And I know that obviously the situation with buses at the moment is being rejigged. Um, because of COVID, so they might be a little bit later than normal, but you should have that information before the first. Any questions, like I said, email them in the meantime. Hi, Millie. Um, do we only use laptops or can we use notebooks? My advice would be it depends on the notebook and the capacity for it to kind of hook up to our system. So bring it in, see if it works. It should do. Um, as long as you can use Google Chrome and have access to the internet, it should work. And if it doesn't work, then like I said to some previous questions there, just bring in and I borrow one of ours. Sorry if yours doesn't work. OK, what I'll do then is turn to some of the questions that other people have sent in. Feel free as well to add some more there. Um, Jack wanted to know what's the difference between our oh, school and college. Yeah, I get asked this all the time. So the big this, this, I suppose the similarity between them is that the A-levels are going to be the same. And we mentioned that before. They're all WJC. The content is the same. But the big difference is the student experience that you have on offer and the skills that you develop as well. Obviously, doing well to baccalaureate, which is compulsory with us to kind of, as I said before, um, equips you with all the skills that you need for employment and university. Um, but also being in a building like D6, doing all your work electronically. We do some stuff on paper as well, but being really digitally savvy is a really important skill that you develop when you're with us. And because we're a big college, we've got lots of opportunities. So the enrichment programme we have is absolutely massive. Um, there's so many things going on that, you know, from science based things, psychology things, um, master classes, work with the local community, um, lots and lots and lots of different experiences, culture brunch on a Friday where we have coffee and um, pastries and re read the actual newspapers. Um, lots of things happen. And if there isn't something that we do, then start it. Start up a club or society um, where you're sixth and we're here for you. So if you want to lead on something with our support, you can go for it. Hi, Hayden. Um, can you bring your own laptops? Yeah, this question's come up a lot today. Yeah, of course you can. Bring in your laptop. If it doesn't work for some reason or if it breaks or if you don't have one at all, then you can have one of ours. That's fine. We've got lots of Chromebooks for you. Um, OK, another question that I had here. This was from Reese, I think it was. Um, how many A-level options Rita, if you've been listening, you should know the answer to this. It's three. Some students start with four just to double check which one they want to do. But by the third week of September, when that swap and drop period is kind of over, you need to have made a decision really about which three you're going to do and then stick to them, commit to them and work hard with them as well. Um, Olivia sent in an interesting question here. Get asked this a lot. Um, do I have to be in college full time? Um, yeah, 
we are not a part-time college at Deeside Sick. There are part-time courses that College Cambria offer on our different sites, but when it comes to A-levels, we are full-time. So that means you do three subjects and your skills challenge um, in order to be with us. As I said before, when I was talking about the timetable, that doesn't mean that you're in college every day, nine till four. Um, you will have five hours a week of your three subjects, that's 15, plus two hours of skills and one hour with your um, progress coach. The rest of it is time for you to be free, for you to study, so you don't have to be in the building unless you've got a lesson. But as I said before, we'd encourage you to be in as much as you can um, in those study periods to actually do some work. Um, and I think I've addressed most of the ones I've been sent there. I know that a lot of the questions you probably all got are to do with September, and we are awaiting Welsh Government information in terms of how we can open. At the moment, they're saying that we should be able to open more or less as normal in full capacity so that's what we're planning for now making sure it is as safe as we can be but checking the website regularly and checking your emails because we will email you and let you know updates and um, that's going to be essential over the summer um morgan sorry there's a question there can i keep my fourth option pass the swap and drop yeah it or yes you can and um, it would depend on the type of gcse results you get if you get mostly A's and A stars, then some students might choose to do four subjects plus the Welsh back. So they're essentially doing five A-level subjects um, and you can do that. Um, I would always get you to think about, though, why you want to do that, because it's not necessarily going to get you into a better university. But what it definitely will do is take your time away from doing three A-levels really well. And actually what you want to get out of your time with us or any um, school or college are three of the highest grades that you possibly can get at A-level. And sometimes when students do four, it becomes too difficult for them to get the grades they should be getting. I'd rather you do three and get three A's than do four and get two B's, a C and a D, if you're capable of getting A's. Um, and it also depends on your career as well and what you want to do. Sometimes a fourth subject is useful for that. My advice is when you come in, talk to us during results day, enrolment, and certainly at the start of term, and we can have a discussion about whether four subjects is right for you or not. Um, OK, hi, Sky. Um, can we also work on paper? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, when I talk about us being paperless, it doesn't mean that you know paper is banned. Um, it just means that all of your lessons you can download electronically, so you can go through PowerPoints and lessons at home. Teachers will share resources with you on our Google Classroom, which is an online platform. So everything you need for your courses is there, electronic textbooks, that type of thing, you can get hold of as well. Um, and obviously communication with staff is always via email as well, and then you see them in person in your lessons. But when it comes to tests, we do them on paper. Um, more and more though, if you choose to use a laptop in your lessons, um, you will be able to use them in an exam I'm going forward in the future because if that's your normal way of working you can ask for that if you like paper that is also fine and there's a way as well of working on paper and making it electronic so if you wanted to do an essay you know by you know, handwriting it there are apps that you can use like cam scam and lots of other ones where you can take photos of your work and it turns them into a pdf so you can store them as an electronic backup as well as having the paper copies. Um, and I mean, I know I'm the same as you. I love colour coding things and highlighting things. And you can do that electronically. You can obviously do that on paper as well. I think the key is finding a way of revision that works for you. OK, hope that answers your, first, your question. Hi, Kayleigh. Um, what do you need to bring with you on the first date? Right. You need your GCSE certificate a Chromebook or laptop if you've got one. Again, not, not necessary if you don't, because we've got lots and we've got plenty on offer. Um, some money, some you know, to buy something for lunch or a pack lunch, um, and that's it really. Um, we will give you everything you need on the day, and we've got a, a new student handbook as well that I've been creating over the summer with all of the links in it for all of the help that you will need. So just bring yourself and those GCS, uh, GCSE certificates on the first day, um, and you should get everything else you need with us. Is that okay, Kaylee? If anyone else has got a question, then just before I sign off. Hi, um, are the Chromebooks free? No, yeah, they are free. Yeah, we don't we don't ask you to pay for them. We take your details in so that when we're loaning them out to you, we know where they've gone and they have a little device in them so that we can locate them at any time if we need to. Um, but no, there is no payment, no payment at all. And um, another thing as well that's free, remember, are the buses. And if you need bus information, look at the student services section of the website. 
Yeah, lockers. Okay, so great question here saying, is every student assigned a specific locker? We've got hundreds of lockers around the building, so many that, that not all of them are used. Um, you don't need to pay for them. We trust you. We are a college. You know, you bring in your own padlock, you choose your locker, and you use it for your time with us. There are lockers on every single floor, and they're all the really large ones as well, so they'll fit um, PE kits, laptops, anything like that in that you need. Okay. I think that's every every question answered now. Like I said, then at the start, if there's anything you want to know and don't know the answer to, email admissions at cambria.ac.uk. Keep checking our website for updates on results day and enrolment in September. And have a fantastic summer, Diak. Thank you very much for listening.